Hey, what's up guys, today I'm gonna remove the FRP of the Samsung Galaxy A50. So as you can see, there's a Samsung Galaxy A50. So, what you have to do is that I have connected to my Wi-Fi network. And so the fast, so the fast work, as you can see, this device was reset. To continue, sign in the Google account that was previously synced on the device. So, what you have to do is that just go back to your home screen. As you can see, it was running for the Google account. Now, what do you have to do is that, as you can see, it's the same card, okay, which have a port, okay, it's the same card which have a port, so you have to insert it, okay, you have to insert it, a little bit, it's not too much, okay, when done, you have to just swipe down simultaneously and you have to insert this card also. Okay. You have to do this again and again and again until you see this option. Okay. So enter SIM card and lock pin 50 times. You have to enter your passcode. Now you have to, what you have to do is that you have to touch on the notification settings and OK simultaneously. Okay. You have to do this again and again and again and again and again. It's not done. So you have to again do this thing. Now I'm doing it again. It would take some time but it would be done. Always and always and always. It's not done till now. So that's some kind of hard feeling. Okay. Okay. Now just Tap the notification settings simultaneously and the OK button also. Okay, so as you can see, this thing arrives. Now, what you have to do is that you have to go to the see all. In the see all, you have to just go to the most recent and you have to touch on the all. Now you have to swipe down until you see the YouTube. Now the YouTube is done. Now you have to go to the in administration setting. Okay. Now you have to go to the history of privacy and you have to turn your services. Now the Chrome is open now. You have to go. Next. And no thanks. Now as you can see the Chrome is open now. You have what you have to do is that you have to go to the search bar. Then you have set the Google for default. Okay, as you can see the three, the Google is now open. Now you have to search. You have to search V and Chrome, and then the bypass. Don't let, don't let bypass. Okay, sorry once again. Without this, okay. V and Chrome bypass. Sorry. Don't let, uh, let any. Don't let. Okay. You have to touch on the first one. Don't let. You again. Sorry. Don't let. Don't let. Don't let. Okay. Okay. Don't let. Don't let. Okay. Now you have to. Okay, again go to the Google. Here you have to search V and Roam by pass. Okay, now the first one. Now you have to download the Android 8.9 G AM APK. Okay, continue it. Allow. You have to done okay now it is installed you have to not anything do okay now just go to the picture of the maker now you have to just okay it and it's done also now in the three dots touch on it in the downloads option you have to install the android 8 9 g and we can use a google account manager go to settings allow from the source and go back and install it Okay, now it's done. You have to go to the shortcut maker. 
and scarlet tiles. Now just open it. It's open. You have to go and search for the Google Account Manager. Okay. So there's the G and the Google Account Manager. Touch on it. And this one. Type email and password. Touch on it. And try it. In this option, toggle sign in and do OK. Now you have to sign in with any of your Google account which you remember. Okay, not that account which was previously synced on this device. So let's do it. I am signing in with this one. Now the password. So. As you can see, this can take for a few minutes, and that's signed in now. Okay. Now, if I can show you, is it done or not? So let's go to settings, try, and go to the accounts. There's the account. That's the account. Okay. As you can see, it's not signed up. What do you have to do now? Now just go to the screen and just restart your phone by tapping simply this and again this. It would be soon backed up, put it up, okay? So just enter the SIM card password. Locking your SIM. Now let's go. Select this key. I have added the magnet. All of the above. Now skip this for now and next. Next, make sure you have a stable Wi-Fi network and you have connected it always before the FRP removal and after the FRP removal. It will take some kind of time. Uh, it's taking too long, so just go back and again do this. Okay. Again go next. It's saying just a second. Uh, as you can see that this account added and the other 851 which I had signed in, okay? So just go next. It's getting account info. Just a second. And don't disturb, sorry. Not now. Skip anyway. It's saying just a second again. And more. No thanks. Next. Step. Okay. Setting the finishing touches. So, as long as you see, now it's done, okay, just do next, and 
I'll skip it. Skip it again. And it's all done. Now the phone is fully booted up. And as you can see, that's the Samsung Galaxy A50. Okay. I can show you in the settings menu about phone. It's a Samsung Galaxy A50 and SMA505 and in the software version as you can see it's the Android version 9 so that's your phone Android version 9 and that's all your phone with the remote FRT so be sure to like, share, comment and subscribe to our channel okay peace on